Any of that mold looking for a home? Ah, oh, Mr. Kowalski. This is Mr. Benedict Porter. Raymond Benedict Porter. I know who he is, Charlie. I know who he is. He used to be the most in-demand midget on the circuit. Man's a legend in Little Room. I wouldn't go as far as to say legend. No, I guess you wouldn't. I guess you wouldn't call yourself a legend. You're too modest, right? We're all going to be munchkins. We're all going to be munchkins together. <laughs> That's right, Charlie. We're all going down that yellow brick road. I can't wait. Actually, the month. It's only Dorothy and her friends who get to travel down the yellow brick road. Wichita. Wichita. 29. We work the circus, remember? No. No, you lost me there, Mr. Polsky. Can't recall ever performing in Wichita. Fred Corelli Street. You must remember, we were the flying fucking dwarfs, for Christ's sake. Fly? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Oh, dear. It appears as though our wells run dry. Guess it was a long time ago, 29. I guess 29 was years ago. I'm sure I'd remember 29. Yeah, I'm sure you would. How can you forget the flying fucking dwarfs? <laughs> I'd remember. Yeah, you would remember. Anyone would remember flying, right? Um, anyone know what time dinner says? I could eat a horse. Yeah, but could you eat a horse of a different color, Charlie? <laughs> a different color? A horse? Mr. Kowalski's referring to the story play, Charles. He's being witty. Right. Jerking you off, Charlie. Pulling your leg, I believe, is the vernacular, Charles. Oh, no, no, no. It was merely a figure of speech. I don't really Yeah, know. I know. I know what you mean, Charlie. I know you ain't figuring on eating no horse of a different color. I know you ain't a horse eater, Charlie. Any horse eating gonna be done in here, and I want to know about it. You ain't no horse eater, right, Charlie? Dinner served at seven, Charles, in answer to your question, that is. It is? Yes, seven. Seven? Splendid. I wouldn't get too excited. The cuisine here is dreadful. There's a wonderful little restaurant across the street. We should eat there. Oh. I was, uh, I was planning to have all my meals here. Well, I'm little. Well, I don't have much. Whatever you do, don't go to that crummy joint. Met one little guy at the desk when I walked in. He got in here yesterday. Tiny Taylor. He said to pass on that joint. Said he didn't know what they put in the food, but it sat like a fucking rock in his gut all night. Everything all right? Maybe Charlie's on a tight budget, right? Tight budget's all the rage around here. Maybe Charlie wants to be all the rage. Tight fucking budgets. Make you want to drive the drink, eh, Ray? Wonder where our missing munchkin is. Yeah, so was I. I was wondering. Assuming it is a small person. Oh. You don't you don't think they'll put a big person in here with us, do you, Raymond? A big person? <laughs> well, yes, you know. A... a regular guy, Charlie? You mean a regular guy, right? Does that worry you, Charles? Does it, Charlie? That worries you. Well, uh, I don't. Well, I mean, it would make more sense to keep us all together, wouldn't it? I just thought we'd all be munchkins in here together. No, no, no. There's definitely a note of anxiety in your voice. You're worried, aren't you? No, I'm not worried. I, I just feel, well, it's nothing against big people. And there are lots of big people. And I'm not worried. I just, well, I suppose it makes sense. I suppose. No, you, well, no. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is... Don't sweat it, Charlie. This is Munchkin Central. There's going to be no integration. 200 midgets all under the same roof. they got to be able to keep an eye on us. Can't have midgets running riot around Culver City. It's bad for publicity. Yes, yes, you're right. 